Does this actually help me like kind of navigate? Honestly, I feel like this is helping me. I love this. This is crazy what I'm doing right now. You guys, we need to walk, play back this. This is cool. Welcome to Road to Write. I'm Les Flyer C. I'm P Dev X. I'm Bubby FPV. And I got another crazy project for you guys. This is third person drone flying. What do you, what do you mean by third whoa, person? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Normally we fly drones, we fly first person view drones, and we're actually sitting in the cockpit when we're flying. Well, a friend of mine, Zorro, thought it would be really cool to actually set up the camera behind the drone so that we're looking at the drone like we're playing a video game. Oh, like those shooter games. Yeah, like, oh. Like, I've seen a lot of videos and I've actually done some myself where I've actually put the recording camera behind the plane or the drone. I've never actually tried to fly in third person before. Yeah, I'm really curious how that'll affect like, because what is it gonna be? It's gonna I, be, it's I gonna don't feel know. different. Zora brought the to my attention. I wanna say thanks to Zora for the idea, but this was a really cool concept. I wanted to try it out and see what we can do. We're here at the FPV Oasis at Bill Frederick Park in Orlando. We're gonna try to see if we can maybe fly around a little bit and maybe even race these guys. I feel like when people see FPV drone videos for the first time, it's a little bit hard to wrap their head around like what they're seeing, because you don't see the drone in the frame and they're like, well, why is the horizon flipping around? You almost have to explain like the, the camera's locked every movement you're seeing is the drone like if you see uh, the horizon flip that's because the drone did a flip people are gonna be able to actually see the drone realize what's happening in terms of its acrobatics and help them understand just how impressive these little machines are I built this with a really strong case because I don't want to destroy this really expensive O3 air unit so I put a little bit of protection around it just to keep it safe back here it might add a little bit of extra weight it might change the performance of the drone I don't know we'll see what's gonna happen normally our camera is tilted at an angle so that when we're flying at an angle it's looking forward but this one is flat so that you see the drone and what the drone's doing so that's gonna kind of mess yeah. with what we've learned over the years Oh my god! That looks <laughs> weird. Kind of like it. I, I want to see what you're seeing. This is silly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude! Hold up, hold up. What? Seeing the motor spin up is weird. I'm scared to take off. Don't be scared, buddy. Oh my gosh. What? This is a freaking video game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, can I like have one of these? <laughs> uh, I love this! <laughs> I see, it's my. You know what's funny though? I'm flying with zero degree camera angle, but. Maybe it's because you have a constant point of reference for like oh, what no. angle you're at. No! Oh, what was the heck was that? That was weird. Let me try some actual tricks. Okay, so I did. Okay, let's see. Be careful with y'all. I'll just throw that out there. Why? <laughs> You'll see. Oh, I opened the inverted yaw spin. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can okay. you feel the weight on the back, like all that extra weight? Because there's a whole air unit hanging it, it, off it the just, back end. It yeah. just freaks out every now and then. Like it'll just decide to almost crash. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you'd almost want to put some a ballast up front to counteract. That's it. so weird. I just did a, I did a half turn spin. You guys told me not to. You guys told me not to break it. What I'm saying, break it. Break it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Break it yet? We got, we got another one. We're good. Yeah, you got two. Oh, that's so oh weird. Okay. Oh, well, do it again, Bobby. Do here's, it again. here's. Oh, we'll do it again. Okay, going for it. He's recording you. Oh, that's so weird looking. Let me do it. Let me do it one more time. Scorpion drone. Bro, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Here's the weird thing. The trippy spin didn't feel that much different because I'm looking up. So like I'm not focusing on the drone. When I'm doing the trippy spin, I'm looking at the top edge of the screen. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh, Bubby, come on. It's not broken, I can what still see the, the drone. Bubby? I, the third I, so I am the first person to crash a drone third person, okay? I'm breaking ground here. So I'm, what is that though? You can I'm see interview. the drone is not broken. Yeah, I can see the drone is not view. broken. It's in view. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. No, it's fine. It, I love it. I love it. I don't, you know, do a dive, dive the tree, like turn it to a building, and like do a dive down. We should the, go to downtown Orlando. That's sick. That's sick. <laughs> oh, and it's full throttle. Okay, so there's definitely something to the camera being in the back. The back motors are working harder, so it's just more underpowered. Imagine it's Ken FPV doing this, the TikTok yes. pilot. 
Like, yeah. bro. Like, bro. In a bando. Oh, we have to make yeah. TikToks out of this. I put the camera behind the drone for a unique perspective. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. People won't believe how it looks with the camera behind the drone. Not <laughs> even. I want to try, like, do the, the Johnny kiss the top treetop thing. I gotta, like, tap it. Yeah. See, I don't know how far away I am yeah, from it. Yeah, your depth has got to be weird because you're like, oh you're going to touch it sooner. Yeah, it, just ran it like. does just randomly freak out sometimes. That's cool. Touch it, Bubby. What if a third person bonking, bro? Third yeah. person grind? Oh. oh that'd be. <laughs> That's when it has issues. I've noticed. Oh, yeah, there's a Did branch. It. One of the weirder experiences I've had. You're going to build all your drones like this now? <laughs> Why would no. I not? Trade in the spoiler for the <laughs> exactly, uh, exactly. I'm actually impressed that the it's drone so can't even really fly. In general, you want the center of mass to be centered in the the prop pattern, right? So I should be able to hold the drone right at the center here, and it should stay balanced. But what's actually happening is it's tipping way far back. These back motors are having to work extra hard to keep it up. I just wanted it to be strong, and I didn't want to break this really expensive area in it that's back here. <laughs> yeah. I just bought three of them and they're kind of pricey. Up until now, we've only been in wide in the uh, DJI recording the mode. The DJI digital FPV system offers an adjustable field of view. So you mm -hmm. can see ultra wide or wide yeah. or maybe there's even a narrow setting. So we went ultra wide because I want to see as much of the drone as possible. Mm -hmm. Changing that setting doesn't actually change what I see in the goggles, just the recorded 4K video. Right. Yeah. Oh, that is weird, people. What the <laughs> heck? That is, it, I need to lean on something. <laughs> that is weird seeing the prop spin. He's a leaner. <laughs> Even the back ones too. Yeah, this is a video game. It's a video game. <laughs> it's a video game. In real life. Do a drift. <laughs> Slow stuff is cool. Just seeing, so my favorite thing with drones is always to just do big hang time tricks. Just hang upside down as long as you can. And seeing the drone actually do it just adds like a whole new level of like, like, yeah, I'm breaking physics. Yeah, I'm breaking physics. <laughs> okay, yaw is not a thing for this squad. <laughs> yaw is not a, we're not gonna be doing that. <laughs> Honestly, I don't, I think it's not an issue that there's no yaw because I don't even like yaw. <laughs> I'm not even joking. My yaw rates at like 150 degrees per second, so this might be the quad. This for orbit is I love really yaw. cool. Orbiting is really <laughs> cool. <laughs> Orbiting is really cool. Yeah, I just love the hang. They're not clean, because uh, this drone can only fly so clean, but let's see, Maddie flip. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I, missed, I missed the gap. I missed you the gap. You almost went straight into that tree. That didn't count. Hold on, we gotta, we gotta try that again. So I am basically finding that I kind of just ignore the drone and just fly. You know, just try to pretend like I'm flying normally and the drone is just in my way. But it does add a cool, like, visual effect. I think it's yeah. something like when you're focusing on the drone, it's really cool. But, like, otherwise, I can kind of just... Oh, it's free. Yeah, the first, time, the first time I flew it, it didn't feel any different to me. So, Except for when I tried to do a yaw movement. Then it was nuts. Yeah, so I'm doing yaws and I'm doing flips. And those are the two movements, yaws and, and forward and back flips where the camera is gonna swing on more of an arc than compared to a real drone. I honestly, it doesn't bug me too much. Like, I really can't tell. So doing a yaw and a flip, I was concerned that the camera is gonna swing on more of an arc than it does on a regular drone. And you can't visually see it. Yes, there's all sorts of tuning issues that this thing is washing out and flying poorly, but just, you know. But it doesn't feel different when you're yawing when around the when drone. When it's working, yeah. it's, it feels fine. Oh yeah. <laughs> I almost wonder if we added like a counterbalance in the front if it would yeah, do anything. Yeah, it would probably feel a lot better. Yeah. But it then might not look as cool. True. You just gotta make sure it's oh, we got a, juicy, a heavy Superman. Juicy flick this juicy. thing. Just gotta heavy, have a heavy Superman character in the front. It's so juicy. So it. juicy! Power loop? Power, power loop it? No problem. <laughs> skill. Whee! Too much skill right there, guys. I'm just, getting in the flow of this. So good. We're at 21.2 volts. I should probably land soon. Yeah, soon oh. <laughs> oh. oh! All right, I'm out of power. I'm out of power. 
Oh yeah, that's great for landing. Yeah. <laughs> that's it's excellent. Still, that's the best thing. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Flight control is having a difficult time with the offset weight, but in terms of the concept, like, does it make it significantly more difficult to fly with the camera in the back? Not really, and no. that is kind of visually cool. I think really the only downside is that you're losing part of the view, like you can't see as well because there's a thing in the I way. Mean, but what would you rather see, the drone or <laughs> what you need to go? <laughs> it's a fun toy, but I mean, I would not want to fly like this 100% of the time, definitely not. Seriously, you're like, <laughs> I want to fly with the camera behind the drone with a motion controller, and I, I, I want more latency. I don't recommend this, you should power through it, but it, I feel like someone new to flying might like it. People, when they want to fly through gaps for the first time, they're just nervous about like, is it actually going to go through? Like, you have to fly for a while to get a feeling for how big you actually actually are because you see the camera view mm -hmm. but you don't see the drone so you're like how small of a hole can I yeah. fit through and like that makes sense once you've been flying for a very long time you know what's gonna right work right when you're newer I think that's something you stress about and with this I can just see yeah exactly what I'm, I'm going through. through we should do this someone needs to fly through like a very small gap a real proper OG knife edge gap the drone shouldn't like fit through normally like you have to knife edge it the whole point is it can only fit when it's sideways so the drone will absolutely fit through normally, Yeah. but I, I feel like any gaps that are very vertical like this, it just looks cooler to yeah. have it go through sideways, so I think we'll still get the visual effect. I'm gonna do this first, so we get that, and then I'm seeing some other small gaps I'm gonna try and work on. Right, you got this, Drew. This is what you've been training for for your whole life. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is you do a quarter roll, so you're sideways, and go through the gap. That was and good. That's, that's what a knife edge is. So I'm gonna try and build up a little speed. We just go pop. Oh, I got it. Heck yeah. it look cool? I mean, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Does this actually help me like kind of navigate this scraggle? Because I can see, I'm like in the scraggle. Yeah, you are. Because I can see, is the drone gonna hit it or not? Honestly, I feel like this is helping me. Really? I legitimately yeah, really? feel like that helped. I mean, again, I wouldn't want to do this. Could also be go through. I just flew through, <laughs> but I know what I'm gonna hit. Like I can like, if I'm, if I, like there's nothing's gonna sneak up on the side because I can see the whole drone. Like oh, I have no yeah. concern that I'm gonna float sideways into the scraggle. Like no, this is this is crazy what I'm doing right now. <laughs> no, that this is I, you guys. We need to walk, play back this. This is cool. That's like you crazy. actually felt more confident. I did. Flying I, I actually felt more confident flying in this in the scraggle. Interesting. So I want to try turtle noting. That's so weird. Okay, I can take off. I'm free. I love this. Turtle noting's awesome. Oh, there you are. I'm gonna power loop over the whole tree obstacle. Here we go, power looping now. I can see both you guys. Big power loop. Down. Ah! You still on me? I'm just gonna keep orbiting. <laughs> Coming in for a landing. Oh, that's really cool. The battery's kind of blocking the view, but then when you get close to the object, you can see it right underneath you. It's really cool. Is there anything to perch? Like, perch my head? James, yep. you know how you're talking about perching? 
I think this is a challenge you gotta do. Th this thing right here. It fits the bottom of the drone perfectly. You got this. Earlier when Drew was flying it, he was saying that it's easier for him to fly through things because he can see where the drone is going and one thing that we brought up was that it might be easier to perch. So we're gonna try to find the smallest thing that we can perch here at Bill Frederick and we're gonna see, if, we're gonna let James do it because I feel like you're good at perching. Portal. You're gonna have to be perfect. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. DJI initiation. Initialize. Okay, here you, go. Boop. you ready? Huh? You've been training your whole life for this moment. Oh man, Christian's you, gonna be right there. Okay, here we go. This is it. If you if you mess up, then then I think I have to quit, right? Yeah. Oh wow, it's way smaller. Okay, so it's yeah, it's tiny. It's that issue that you had earlier when you were trying to bonk the tree or whatever. Um, it's further than it looks. Right? Yeah, like your depth perception of like knowing where the drone is is off for me at least. Go in. But I do see the post better. Like normally, I would be looking right over it. Yeah. I can't tell how close I am now. Yeah, it's tough. Like that felt close. Yeah. Like I was. You touched it. I mean, you could see that you touched it. So. God, be careful. Oh, is that the front of it touching? Yeah, that was the yeah. front of it touching. Okay, that's that's good to know. It's just so stubby. <laughs> yeah, it is so stubby. Ooh, it's wobbling. Dude, this looks like. Difficult. Like I'm just looking at the drone and the the, it's moving. so much bigger than the pole. Well, the wind's not helping. The wind is not helping. But excuses are excuses. Steady fingers. You got this. No. Oh, oh. Maybe I should stand here. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> do you think it's harder to do it like this? No, it's Thank easier. You. I can so, see okay. the actual thing that is going yes. on. Yeah. But I don't think I would be able to do it without this. Really? Yeah. But I also don't think I'll be able to do it with it. No, you're gonna. So you're saying we should title this? Is this the new way all drones should be built? Yes. With spoilers. Yeah, exactly. I think it's because you don't have the spoiler on there. It's a really hard trick. I don't think James can do it though. I is it really that hard? You do it that hard. No way. The camera's further back, so you're seeing further back in time. Right. Yes, it's true. We're just further <laughs> back in space. Funny, because I like almost believed you for a second. Put the drone. On the pole. So we're on take 28 now. <laughs> That's too high, right? Way too high. And just our. That was really I think close. it's just too small. It's just no, like it's real. Not. It's not? It's not too small. Let me try. Let me try. I wanna try it. Bubster has arrived. <laughs> Hey, buddy. This is your time to shine. There we go. Let's shake it out. It's, it's ridiculously hard, by the way. It's only it's only because we have the thing on the back that it's still up there. Yeah. But it's only because the thing on the back that's missed out. If you didn't have the thing on the back, it would have been like that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you nailed it. Yeah. First try. When we were doing it earlier, what James was saying was we couldn't really see where the perch was. And I saw that when I first went up, I was like, you actually can't see, it's just blind. It's harder for me to go front to back than it is side to side. I was spotting where the edge of the gap was through, straight through the arms right there when I was setting it down perfectly just like that. Even then, it was just like super difficult to be precise every time. But you're saying that that unique viewpoint did give you an advantage on this particular Oh, trip. totally. I did that like, First battery. Like I think if it was a normal drone, like I probably would be here for. So a couple. do you, do you think that this is how drones should be now? We should all just go to third person drones. We should to be done with first person. I FPV mean, is dead. Long live TPV. TPV. I, mean, I don't know if I'm the good person to ask about that because like I find a spoiler. So like of course I'm gonna switch to this. We gotta walk this carefully so that we can trick Banggood into making this again because whenever oh, we do yes. weird things, Banggood doesn't always know if we're kidding or if it's like just an experiment. That's how Bone Drone actually Bone ended up Bone Drone became production. a real so, product. What? This, this yeah. is great. 
Someone should make a frame like this. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I don't, we're so busy doing our own stuff right now. We, we don't could, have the time. You should do this. Yeah. Yeah. This is a free idea. This is a free idea. We're just you guys, you guys will make bank. Look here. We'll give you a real close look. There you so go. So you can clone his design. <laughs> just make it just like is this. Is this going in the episode? It's gonna be great. It's uh. gonna be great. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>